It's your boy AG Cornman Boxing here, my man Bernie Davis. Bernie the Boxer in the building, New York City champ. How we feeling, baby? Early in the morning, it's nine in the morning. <laughs> early in the morning, we getting to it early. You know what they say, the early bird gets the worm, champ. That's right, that's right. So, you know what I'm saying? As you know, you represent that Buck Crawford. We see you got the, the scully on, you know what I'm saying? You know it. <laughs> the best in the world, baby, pound for pound. Yeah, he, he just scored a devastating knockout, man, over David Avenesian. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's your thoughts on the fight and his performance? Uh, I thought he looked good. I thought that, uh, you know, he was just really starting to warm up and... Like I say, you know, but that punching power got him up out of there. I, I, I thought it was gonna go a little longer. I thought he was softening him up, but I didn't know he had softened like that. He was just ripe and got him up out of there. You understand? <laughs> right. Six round spectacular knockout as he should. That was nasty. He like, like rolled with it and came with that that uppercut and that hooked off of it. That was yes. real nasty, man. Beautiful. And every, the southpaw stance. Yeah, like nasty. yo. Every time Bud shows like a different dimension to his skills, like yes. See what I'm saying? That's what I try to tell him. Look at the way he knocked the guys out, though. Not watch what he's doing in there. It ain't just about who he's fighting. He put on a recital when he get in that ring. You understand? It's a treat to get in there. You understand? It's different aspects to his game that you need. You can watch and you can study. You understand? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's so many dimensions. There's so many like different tools he got. He could do it all, man. And he's shown it yes. time and time again. I believe he, he he knocked out every welterweight he's fought so far, right? Yeah. All of them. All the knockouts. Yeah, it was six title defense, seven title defense. All Moved knockouts. up and, and knocking them out like bowling pins, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, how, you, th you think he's going to keep that streak going no matter who he faced? Uh, you know, that's hard to tell, but right, right. like I say, he in a rare space right now. And, uh, you know, hopefully just open up the door to the big fight that we want to see or somebody that can give us a challenge. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. There's a, there's a few interesting names out there in the welterweight division. Now, now, I've heard the narrative that if he can't get that big Spanish fight, he willing to move up. What you think about that? Well, I think that's a, a, a lofty goal, but being that the guy that go, owns all the other guys, I don't know how, how we gonna get that fight, you know, unless it's the fighter, go step out the box and demand, you understand that? Mm -hmm, his management or his help, whatever they do, you know, get the fight, but as far as, uh, you know, that's it, the fighter gonna have to step it up, so Charlo, you gonna have to step it up, Spence, you gonna have to make it happen, you understand? Y'all gonna have to demand that this fight happen, you understand? If you need him that much, which you do, then you will make it happen, you know what to do, y'all right. know what to do, come correct, that's it. Right, right, because we see Bud, he took matters into his own hand. He running his own show now, you know what I mean? It's good to see him in power of his own career. Uh, like I say, you know, uh, when one door closed, another one opened, you know, and uh, right. they thought they had us, and for whatever reason, it didn't work out, but, you know, like I say, even at that, look at God, you understand? Mm. They the, the door closed on a big fight. It's a big fight, but, listen, we got a bigger opportunity in a paycheck, you know? The man got a family to feed. The man got mm -hmm. so many things to do, so many people to take care of. So, you know, at the end of the day, you need the money. So, like I say, we didn't get the big fight. We didn't get the prestige. But we got a chance to put on for the hometown. We got a chance to, like I say, have a big event at home. And the man, and, and he got paid as he should. You know, he uh, he earned what he uh, his check, and uh, he, he was uh, compensated uh, well, as he right, should. Right, very well. Yeah, as he should. He's got to put their lives on the line every day. Every day I mean that because in sparring you could get hurt. You get hurt with anything in, in boxing when it comes to that, you know what I'm saying? But And uh, like, I, yeah, I mean, and uh, like I say, but then again, you know, when you when you get a bachelor's degree, your pay go up. <laughs> That's a when fact. You a, when you get a science, you know, associate, you, all these different degrees, your master's, your doctor, you understand, your pay go up. Uh -huh. Three-time world champion, two-time Leno, you understand? Come on, three-division world champion, all knockouts. Come on now, like I say. So hey, you know we we uh, uh, doubled our uh, our uh, our highest pay, and uh, BOK wow. Prime came came correct. They know yeah. how to treat a fighter, uh -huh. and uh, you know I think the uh, show was success. I liked it the way uh, the commentary that they had. They had excellent boxing minds up there, Antonio Tarver and uh, Malinaji. Right, uh, right. You know they had a little spice in there. They had Broner over there. They had. Uh, uh -huh. Uh, Blue Blood Sports over there talking, giving his little take. Yeah, Zab and, Judah uh, was involved in Zab some things. Judah, of course. So it was a lot of people in the house. It was uh, Tevin Farmer was out there. Mm. Uh, Mickey Bay was out there. So like I said, you know, the champ bring the guys out, the real ones out. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff that. going on uh, at the time. <laughs> but, uh, you know, with everything going on, I think 
uh, all eyes was on the champ, and uh, he he delivered like he's supposed to. Right now, champ, how, how long have you known, but Because I've seen you, you you ride or die with him, man. You you you, you know what I'm saying have this special relationship. I'm curious how long you've been around him. I, I say it was seven. That's when I first met him. And, and he was seven. It was 1995. And, uh, wow. Like I said, I've just been with him ever since. You know, I've been with him through from from first fight to the last fight. Wow. Yeah. And you met him through boxing, or how, how did through that Through boxing. Come? Yep. Yep. Wow. Uh, we had a a lo uh, the, the gym owner used to come pick the people up, pick the kids up from the neighborhood, uh -huh. and we all meet up at the gym. We used to pick us up in a van, and uh, like I say, that's where I met him. And he sparred my brother who was a pretty tough kid and we already had been boxing at home before we went to a boxing gym and had a little experience uh -huh. and uh bud just hung in there with him you know mm -hmm. he couldn't outclass him but he but he fought his heart out and so mm -hmm. that's why i loved about him and ever since then you know i like i like that kid he tough <laughs> and uh you see he is tough absolutely now we the best the most skilled you understand <laughs> pound for pound oh uh, yeah that man. ain't no understatement that's an <laughs> overstatement did you see what he did Come on now, every time, go back and look at them highlight reels. You understand? We oh. do it different every time. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's nasty. It's they getting better love nasty. him while he's here. Yeah, you better love him while he's here. <laughs> it's getting nasty. Yeah. And, and all y'all up, upbringing was in Omaha, am I correct? Nebraska? Yes, yes. Uh, you know, uh, but you know, the kid, you know, once you start making some success, you know, you get a chance to get out of there. So he was on the United States team and got a lot of uh, education from them guys and, you know, traveled all over the, uh, the world. He traveled over the world and the country, right. you know, doing his thing. Right. Now, Champ, you've seen all aspects of boxing, of the sport, in and out the ring, you know. What advice would you have for young fighters to, to, to make and be successful? Discipline. Mm. Discipline. If one thing I learned, because, you know, we had Keyshawn Davis out here. Shout out to my boy, right, Keyshawn. Right. You know, we uh, put on a spectacular performance. Him, uh, you know, we Coach Red as well. Uh, right. You know, Coach Al, he's been preaching discipline. You uh -huh. know, be on time. You know, do what you're going to say. And, uh, you know, if you got a goal, meet that goal. You know, don't stop till you meet it. So, discipline. Absolutely, man. I, I spoke to um old school fighter, man. I can't get his name. The Hawk. Uh, is it the Hawk? Um, Aaron Pryor? No, the... the um, Julian Williams? Julian, 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 Julian Jackson. Julian Jackson. Uh -huh. He said, respect the game and they'll respect you. You know what I'm saying? Well, you definitely got to because... Uh, like I say, uh, you know, once you get in that ring, uh, the truth going to come out. You Absolutely. Know? So whatever you've been doing, good or bad, will tell, you know. And uh, what you definitely want to do is give yourself the, mo the best chance. Anybody that's been in boxing should know that you can't take anybody lightly, you know. Mm -hmm. um, from, uh, you know, like I say, you taking a guy light. I've done that before, and I'm sure we all have, especially when you got a little skills and you right, know, you're right. pretty good. Right. You, you, you tend to you know, sometimes overlook a certain guy and them the ones be surprised you. And I've been surprised, so I don't take nobody light. That's the one thing I would do as well. Make sure you never give a sucker an even break, you know. Mm. Make sure you're doing what you gotta do for you know, you can you can be you can be successful because like I say, boxing ain't no joke. You see uh Volsdick got hurt. Uh you know, uh the other fella that uh died, uh uh, you know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. I said, never know. Anything can happen. The right punch can hit you in the right uh -huh. way. You know, and it ain't got to be no fancy world champion. He ain't got to be this. Anything can happen in there, so it can change your life. So, Absolutely. definitely want to be ready. Yes, sir. Definitely want to take care of yourself. That's part of loving yourself. Mm. You understand? You can buy yourself jewelry and clothes and do all that stuff, but loving yourself is taking care of yourself truly, you know? Mm. And you think these are the things that, that separate Bud from the rest of these guys? He got those qualities that, that you're talking about? Ain't no question. And uh, he put in the work, you know, mm -hmm. uh, like I say. He was always uh, the last one in the gym, you know, mm -hmm. finishing up, never shortcutting. Whatever was asked of him, you know, sometimes it can be uh, a little frustrating or a little overwhelming at a time. Right, right. After, you know, weeks and weeks of camp. But he always does it nevertheless, you know, he's a true competitor. And... Uh, the one thing, don't tell him that he can't do it. You understand? Or challenge him <laughs> to, to make him feel like he can't do it. Yes, sir. So, like I say, he always gives us 110% in training camp. And it showed, you know, I think we started out really good. Uh, he was really just starting to warm up. And I'm satisfied with the performance. I'm mm -hmm. really satisfied with the performance. No doubt. And what's going on with you, champ? You, you, you in the camp, you're training fighters as well, right? Am I correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, I try to give my little wisdom that I got. You know, uh, I've been boxing for over 30 some years. Wow. I'm a real student of the game. Uh -huh. You know, I study the history. I study fights. I've been watching boxing 
since I was about 10 years old. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, like I say, they brought me up. I've been with them forever, you know. Uh, but uh, like I say, you know, with our uh, stable is growing and we needed some help, so they called me up. That's what's up, man. Hey, man, you a true boxing mom, man. It was a pleasure to catch up with you, champ. For those that don't know, where can we follow you at? You know, it's always yours truly. It's Bernie the Boxer. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on YouTube at Bernie the Boxer. Appreciate you. Thank you, champ. God bless you and wish you the best for the rest of your career. You and the whole team and the family. Love, Thank you, family. champ. Appreciate Much you. love. Thanks. Yes, sir.